Mm-hmm. Pretty little black skin girl, pretty little diamond ring. Oh, Caribbean beauty, Caribbean cutie. Hey gems, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys can hear me. I'm trying to speak a little low because the baby is sleeping. But I just wanted real quick to let you guys know that the clips that you're about to see um, were recorded the day I gave birth. Everything happened so fast that I was unable to actually record the entire experience. Um, it was just literally just me my partner, my midwife, and my my mother home and in the room, and there was no one there to record. Um, I was in denial that I was even in labor because it was two weeks early, and it just all happened really fast, extremely fast. My midwife got here at 12, and the baby was born at 11. Like, there was literally no time to do anything, to try and record anything, to try and get someone to record anything. And everyone's focus was on me, and my focus was on breathing through my contractions and um, not working against my body and allowing the baby to come into this world in a peaceful and calm environment. So, And that's what happened. So um, I just wanted to say real quick that I still wanted to share what I did have <laughs> and um, my immediate, I guess, reaction after giving birth, which is what you're about to see. So I hope you guys enjoy that. It's not like my video um, with my first son that I was able to record the whole process and give you guys a whole storyline. Like there's, it's, there's none of that. I just wanted to record this little intro real quick so that you know you guys know what you're about to watch. I will record another video maybe speaking about how, how I prepared for my labor and delivery. When I say prepare, I just mean like things that I was doing throughout my third trimester to prepare my body and mind for delivery, not really me preparing as in planning what will happen what's gonna go down when it's gonna go down like i had no control over that and as you can see i wanted to record and i didn't have control over that part because it just all happened so unexpectedly so so i do hope you guys enjoy the clips you're about to see so i have my baby 14 days early y'all yesterday was yesterday was something i was not expecting to go into labor everything happened so quick so fast everything happened so fast that i wasn't even able to record the process like i did with my first birth it just went uh, <coughs> I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> so I'm just going to run through this real quick. So my contractions actually started Friday night. Um, I was up doing my partners here on the porch and I noticed I started getting what I thought was Braxton Hicks but the only difference is they felt more intense than the regular Braxton Hicks I was getting. So, but I just breathed through them, you know, they're plaiting his hair, I'm just breathing through them. I noticed they just kept coming, like, just back to back. I was like, what is happening? <laughs> and this was like minutes to 12. I decided to start timing it, and I noticed most of them were like 10, 10 to 15 minutes apart, lasting for a minute or a little less. So I was like, no man, I can't be in labor. <laughs> like, it's not time yet. <laughs> I pretty much ignored it. Well, not ignored it, but like, I didn't, I, I didn't think, okay, this is labor. I'll say probably around, it kept happening, so I, I couldn't sleep. I didn't go to sleep. Around 2.20 a.m., I went to the bathroom, I had to pee, and when I wiped, I saw 
part of my mucus plug come out. So I was like, shit. <laughs> am I really in labor? I was just sitting there trying to figure out, am I in labor? In fact, my best friend texted me about something else and I responded and she was like, wait, what are you still doing up? <laughs> and I was like, I'm just sitting here trying to figure out if I'm, a, I'm in labor. <laughs> and she was all shocked. So it turned out that clearly I was in early labor. I didn't call my midwife or anything. I just went to sleep, like, or tried to go to sleep. But of course the contractions kept happening. So I was like sleeping in like 10 minute intervals. Whenever it gave me a break, I slept. Then of course, when it started back up, it woke me up. So now I woke up at like a little after nine in the morning. And I told my mother, like, yeah, I was having contractions all night. And she was like, yep, this is it. And I was still in denial. I was like, there's no way this baby is coming today. <laughs> in fact, that yesterday was my nephew's birthday. He turned one. I was like, there's no way this baby is coming today. We was all supposed to go to the little beach gathering. I couldn't even go because I kept getting contractions. So, like, at, I think it was like 10, 10 something. I said, I'm going to call the midwife just to let her know what's happening. Even if, you know, this isn't really actual labor, you know, at least I'm alerting her. Calling the midwife, couldn't get through, couldn't get through. I called someone that I, that I knew know her and she let me know that, you know, my midwife left her phone home and she was on her way home to get it. So I was like, okay, cool. She'll see my missed call and my message and call me when she get there. So I think, what time was it? Probably 11. Probably around 11, my midwife called me back. And as she called, another contraction hit. And this one was way more intense. All she heard was my moaning and groaning on the phone. And she was like, I'm on my way. <laughs> I'm on my way. So she came and she checked me and from there everything just went mad quick like i it was literally just me my mother the midwife and my partner that's it and i was happy like it was the perfect birth and although i'm a little sad that i wasn't able to capture it it was just so perfect that i'm okay with not capturing it because it was just it was intimate and perfect that's all I can say like I had every intentions of capturing it but it just didn't work out that way everything happened way too fast I had nobody here like as an extra person to record um, because my sisters took my son to the beach to my nephew's party so it was literally just me my midwife my mother and my partner and everybody was hands-on nobody had a phone in their hand i wasn't even thinking about a phone because i was just yeah i uh, i was already not mentally prepared to go into labor that day i was just trying to focus on getting my mind right so that i can breathe my way through those contractions because they were intense they were intense but it it happened so quick i gave birth at 1 11 and it was it was so different than my first birth like i think i would just record a whole nother video comparing the two births because let me tell you your environment and the people you surround yourself with impacts everything so deeply like this birth was just perfect peaceful and calm as calm as it could be through me having contractions and like my mother was such a great coach because initially when I was getting those active labor contractions I was like ah and making all this noise and tense in my body and she just reminded me like you have to relax if you tense you are working against your body you have to work with your body breathe and then my midwife her hands are so warm she put her hands on my lower back and she was swaying my hips and it was just it really helped me after that like i was able to just breathe through every contraction um yeah i was making a little moaning noise like, mm, and all of that but i was not screaming and yelling and ah 
all of, like it was more it was so much more peaceful and let me tell you when it was time to push my body pushed i didn't have to force i didn't have to like do anything like my body was just pushing i couldn't not push like it was just pushing and i after five pushes he was out um i was i wasn't in the pool for my whole laboring process because like i said it happened so fast so my partner was busy filling the pool and i was going through my contractions but when i felt that push it was like two pushes outside of the water and the midwife was like if you want to have the baby in that water you have to get in now <laughs> so they both held me and and helped me walk over and kind i climbed in the pool and i got on all fours and as i got in that pool my body just went straight into pushing mood i could not hold it back i couldn't not push it was just it just happened and three pushes in the water and the baby was out it was just it was perfect it was perfect it was perfect that's all i can say um i was like in disbelief i was like, <laughs> I was like did that just happen did that really just happen um after i pushed the baby out my mother took i think a little clip with her phone so if i get that clip from her i may insert it in here but y'all i know i said i was gonna share my birth but listen it just didn't happen that way and that's okay because it was such an intimate and and personal experience that i guess the universe just told me i didn't need to share it in detail and that's okay with me but um of course I just wanted to share verbally what happened just to try and inspire other mothers out there because listen when you trust your body yeah that's another thing I had to do I just at one point I was in the room by myself just and I I noticed myself getting tense again and I just told myself like listen you can do this your body was made for this you know what you're doing and I just talked to myself at one point I was like ancestors please give me the strength and I did it like I did it y'all <laughs> I could personally say I am so proud of myself way more proud of myself than I was the first time because it was just I really listened to my body and was way more in tune and it definitely was worth it so uh, yeah uh, that's about it I'm gonna say in this video uh, and you guys would see me in my next video which would probably be me going through my the lotus process of the baby's cord falling off and that's about it thank you for watching I hope you guys enjoy this little clip this quick clip and you will see me in my next video. Peace. I was able to do that. When I came to this country, I couldn't call home. Look at that. Hey, you need to eat? You're gonna milk your mommy? Making bubbles? You making bubbles? You ready? Yeah, help me help mommy get the placenta out. Tell her it's not gonna hurt because it has no bones. So if you take a little sips of some colostrum, you will help her out. Then you can have her out to your little son. How about that? <laughs> That's the Josiah out there, boy. Josiah mouth. Look at that mouth. Oh, it's a boy? Yeah, it's a boy. If it's a boy, it'll be a pr your pride and your joy. If it's a girl, she'll be your black pearl. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I knew something was up. 
Yeah. Full moon is what? Wednesday coming? Mm. Yeah, Wednesday or Thursday. Mm. That's the 26th? I don't know. I think so. I missed my webinar. Jamia, Jamia birthday. Huh? Come on, Jamia yeah. birthday. birthday. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wow. So you want us to hold the you hold her and one under one arm, my older and the other arm, and her, and while her, her the grandmother holds the baby. Wait, again another contraction. Push. But standing up will also gravity will pull it down. Okay. Use your pet, flatten your feet. Where's your bird kit on? Isn't that second to last drawer, that colorful drawer? Oh, the colorful one? The colorful. These one. Look. Oh. The, the third one you said? The second to last. The second to last, purple, yeah. Oh, oh I swear I didn't. Oh. Oh. I Grandma, mm -hmm. could you help me, please? Oh, no, you're doing something. It's okay. Look what Jaja gave me New life A brand new little day Look what Jaja gave me Oh, this is perfect And it's the magic And everything you do Isn't that nerds?